you're still exploring about Google Classroom and you want to learn about how you can create assignments to send to your students? Today, I'm going to teach you how you can use Google Classroom in creating assignments with rubrics and anti-plagiarism checker. All of that in three easy steps. Hi, I'm Soy Leo and this is The Creative Professor. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more about online learning tools and digital platforms, please hit subscribe and the notification bell at the end of this video to stay in the loop. In my previous video in this Google Classroom series, I taught you how you can set up your Google Classroom. I put the link in the description below so that you could watch it. Follow along in this video and let us learn and create. The first step is to explore the Classwork tab. After logging into your Google Classroom, go to the class you will create the assignment for. Next to the Stream tab where you communicate with your students through announcements, you can see the Classwork tab. Classwork is a very versatile tool that allows teachers to create assignments, send materials, and make quizzes. You can organize all materials according to topics. It's like filing papers on specific folders so you can pull them out easily whenever you need them. The Google Calendar will show you all the due dates and events for your class. Everything that you schedule in Google Classroom will appear here. The Class Drive folder stores all your class materials into your Google Drive, which only you, the teacher, can access unless you send it to your students or share it with other teachers. Meet allows you to have video meetings with your students for distance learning. When using the Meet feature, make sure to schedule the video meeting with your students and send them the link that you can generate here. After exploring the Classwork tab, the second step is to construct your assignment in Google Docs. In the Classwork tab, click on the Create button and you will see all the kinds of activities that you can create. In this video, we will focus on creating assignment. In the assignment screen, you will be required to type the title of your assignment. You may also include your instructions here or you may write it in the Google Docs. I will write a simple instruction for my class. You may also add other relevant materials to your assignment from your Google Drive an online link, a file from your device, or from YouTube. Now, let us create your assignment using Google Docs. Click Create and choose Docs. Google Docs is a word processor that allows you to create, edit, and view documents. The first thing you want to do is to name your assignment. Google Docs automatically saves your file as you use it so you don't have to worry about losing your work. Since Google Docs is a word processor, you can find in the menu the different tabs for editing and formatting texts. Let's create your first assignment. I will write the title and start with part 1 of the assignment. I want to use a table so I will click on insert and then table. And then I will format the text using the formatting tool such as bold and center alignment. For part 2 of the assignment, I want my students to answer a Venn diagram. To create the diagram, I will click on Insert and then Drawings. I will insert a shape, copy that, and adjust them to make overlapping ovals for the Venn diagram. 
I will label them by inserting texts. And then I'll click on Save and Close. For part 3 of the assignment, I want my students to write an essay. I will just type the directions and the essay question and the students can write their answer right below this question. Once you're done creating and formatting your assignment, you may send it to other teachers or collaborators who can either view, comment on, or edit your assignment. The third and final step is to customize your assignment settings. On the right side of the assignment screen, you will see the class, and you can choose to send the assignment to all students or to selected individuals. You can assign the points for your assignment, and you can also set the due date and time so you could monitor the student's submission. And you can also create or choose a topic to organize your assignment. I will choose the topic, The Epic. You may also create a rubric to inform your students about how their assignment will be graded. Just click on Rubric and you have the option to create, reuse, or import a rubric. Let us create a rubric. Here, you can assign the different criteria and their corresponding points in your rubric. You may also click Add Criterion if you have other components you want to grade. Once you are done, just click Save. One of the biggest concerns of teachers when it comes to online activities is that it is very prone to cheating. Students can access the internet for resources and answers while working on your activities. The good news is that Google Classroom has a plagiarism checker called Originality Reports. Still on the assignment screen, you can enable the Originality Report. Google Classroom allows you to enable the originality reports for up to three assignments per class. According to Google, Google Search will compare your students' work against billions of web pages and millions of books to detect plagiarism. You can also control what the students can do with the assignment. The first one allows all students to read the file but not edit it. The second one allows students to share the same file and edit it. The last one gives each student a copy of the file with their name on it. Let us choose this one for this assignment. Now all you have to do is to assign this activity. You can send it immediately, schedule it, or save it as a draft. Your assignment will appear in the Classwork tab and when you click on it, you will see the instruction we have given earlier. The numbers here show who have submitted and who have received the assignment. They will also see your assignment on the Stream tab. That's it! You have an assignment! This video is part 2 of a Google Classroom tutorial series and next week, I will teach you how you can create online quizzes in Google Forms. See you in my next video! Thanks for watching! Please do like and share this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Creative Professor.